What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2021 movie, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Um, so, in this movie, uh, Emily Elizabeth Howard, played by Darby Camp, uh, <coughs> gets this puppy, and she names him Clifford, and overnight he grows to be 10 feet tall. If you're familiar with the Clifford story, you kind of know this and everything, and, uh, most of the movie is they're they're trying to get away from this science lab who's wanting to take Clifford and experiment on him. Um, and that's all I'm really going to say about the plot. I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it and everything because this is a brand new movie. It just came out a couple days ago. Um, it's in theaters and on Paramount Plus. I watched it on Paramount Plus because I didn't know if I'd really like it enough to see it in the theater and everything. But. Um, but th this was a, a, a pretty fun movie. Um, I wouldn't say it was like a super great movie, but I did have a lot of fun with it. The, the cast in here are all uh, are all pretty good in here, especially Darby Camp as Emily Elizabeth. She just she fits the role really well and stuff. And when, when I saw the trailers and stuff, I didn't really like the way she looked because in my mind, Emily Elizabeth is blonde because of the cartoon show that used to be on PBS Kids that I watched every day after school. Um, I, I absolutely loved the show as a kid. I haven't seen it in years, but I've seen the the animated movie that that was based on the show a couple of years ago that was kind of like a finale to the show and everything. I love that, but I haven't seen the actual show in years, but I loved it as a kid. and. I was really looking forward to this movie. When I heard they were doing a live action Clifford, I was like, this this could be really good. And I was really surprised that they didn't make Clifford talk and stuff. And I was kind of hoping they'd include uh, Cleo and T-Bone from the, the original animated show, but they didn't. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this, this movie for what it was. Um, and, uh... Like I said, the rest of the cast are really good in here too. John Cleese plays Mr. Bridwell, who is this magical animal rescuer who uh, is one that pretty much gave gives Clifford to Emily, and he's really likable in this movie. He just has a really likable character and screen presence. I, I love John Cleese anyway, but I thought he was really good in this movie. He's not in it a lot, but the little bit he's in it, he, he's just really great in here. Um, and uh, Jack Whitehall is uh, Emily's uncle Casey I think is pretty good too I liked him and everything and uh, I think I think everybody was good in their roles and stuff uh, uh, Isaac Wang is uh, Emily's friend Owen is, is pretty good too and they have uh, pretty good chemistry and they, they work really good together and I, I like all of the the cast. David Alan Greer is even in here. He doesn't have a lot of screen time, but he's good in the little bit of screen time he has. Um, and Kenan Thompson has a small appearance in here, which was kind of cool because he he uh, was on the animated series as one of the voices of one of Clifford's friends. So I thought that that was, was kind of cool that they they had him in here too. Um, and everything is a little nod to that show and everything. But uh, this movie was pretty much exactly what I expected it to be. I, I kind of figured uh, I knew what was going on in this movie uh, before I even saw it. I knew how it was going to end and stuff, and the trailers pretty much spoiled the ending anyway. Um, that's another reason I didn't go see it in the theater, because I'm like, if you're going to spoil the ending, then I'm not going to watch your movie on, in the theater, unless it's something that I want to see extremely bad, like Halloween. Like that, They spoiled a lot of stuff in the Halloween movie, but I still saw that, because that's something I was highly anticipating. But something like this, where uh, I'm already just kind of like, it, it could be really good or really bad. If you spoil the ending in the trailer, I'm not going to go see it. I'll wait till DVD most of the time. Um, but... I really enjoyed this this movie for the most part. Like I said, it, it is really predictable though. Like, like I knew, even if I they didn't spoil it in the trailer, I knew how everything was going to go. And I would have known, even if it wasn't in the trailers, like, you know exactly how this movie is going to end and everything. Like, it, it's uh, pretty much just takes your classic trope of uh, 
of the kid and their dog movies that nobody else likes and stuff and 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 everything like like I've seen it done a million times in better movies like my dog skip was kind of it reminded me a lot of that except it's not near as dramatic as a lot more f it's more of a, a funner movie if that makes sense but my dog skip is a great movie I love that movie but it kind of reminded me of that and everything and I will say that the the CGI on Clifford was not near as bad as I was thinking it was going to be um, because it, it looked pretty bad in the trailers, but he, he really doesn't look near as bad as, as I was expecting. He kind of reminds me of like what you would see in Garfield and uh, the Scooby-Doo movies from the early 2000s. He, and, and I know some people, it's going to bother them like crazy. To me, it didn't really bother me. I thought, thought he was kind of adorable and everything. I'm not even a dog person, but I thought he was so cute and everything. And he's still a puppy in this movie, so he's not even full grown when he becomes 10 feet tall so if they make more sequels and he becomes an older dog then who knows maybe they'll make him even bigger but they uh, they did up the cuteness factor on him and I thought that was I thought it kind of worked and everything because like I said I'm not a big dog person but I do love puppies I, I think they're always adorable and stuff but I'm just a sucker when it comes to pretty much anything that's a baby like puppies kittens human babies yeah, pretty much any kind of baby. I just think they're just so cute and everything. And he, Clifford is adorable um, and everything. But this is a fun little family movie. I, it was one, if I watched it as a kid, I would have probably loved it even more than, than I do. But I think it's still a pretty good movie and uh, everything. I've been hearing a lot of mixed things about it. Some people love it, some hate it. But I, I think it, it's, it's pretty enjoyable. It's kind of wholesome and stuff kind of gave me Stuart Little vibes and that the, the way it's so wholesome like Stuart Little is except if I personally like Stuart Little a lot more um, but I, I do think this is a, a fun movie and if, if it does get sequels and stuff I'd be open to seeing more and everything I was invested enough that I wouldn't mind seeing more of these characters and stuff and everything but it also is a fun little trip down nostalgia lane because if if you grew up in the early 2000s, like I did, you probably saw the Clifford show on PBS Kids and everything, which I love that show as a kid. I'm actually thinking about trying to see if I can find it on, I think uh, the PBS Kids streaming app might have it on there, so I might try to watch it um, and everything just to take a trip down memory lane and watch it. But yeah, so uh, I'd say I'd give Clifford the Big Red Dog a 7.5 out of 10. It's, it's pretty pretty good um but not not super super great but it's good enough and it, it's perfect for what it was trying to be and everything it, it did its job and it's only an hour and 36 minutes so it doesn't really have pacing issues and stuff the only other thing that the main thing that i didn't like about the movie is i really didn't like tony health's character he just annoyed the crap out of me and everything and i i it's like he reminds me so much of the character he played in elvin and the chipmunks uh, the road chip and everything which is kind of weird seeing this movie is directed from that same director and everything so I thought that was kind of weird too it's like is he playing the same character because he's acting a lot like him and he's really annoying in in this movie but um, but aside from that, that I think it's it's a fine movie and everything and it's a good one for families like I'm sure kids are gonna love this movie and everything it's a cool way to keep this popular character alive and everything and I also love they don't do a lot of poop and fart jokes either the only joke they really did with anything that was kind of dumb is uh, one of the went in Owen's dog which you see the pug in the commercial uh, he, he wants to sniff Clifford's butt which I thought was kind of dumb but at the same time that's what dogs do they like to sniff each other's butt for some weird reason but yeah, so anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.